again and uh, this is my coding for a program Minecuber so this coding is made in uh, C, the program like in C++ and I don't know if you already might have guessed but this is really really complex coding that's why it has 2030 lines coding and that's uh, also the reason that I don't know half of this coding but it's like if you think of it, it's really simple to explain. Like it goes through the process of um, scanning the Rubik's cube and then solving it. That's all. But for more details, Miss, my teacher, Miss McDonald, is gonna explain yes. some stuff. Now. Okay, so part of this program, the way it's set up, is there's a main task, and that's what's getting run first. So this thing called Banner is run first, and Banner's a, a subtask way up above. And so you can, some of this stuff makes sense by the way they named it. Um, so they're reading a file, which probably has information on how the Rubik's Cube is solved. Okay, Start Motor Task is the name of another sub-program that probably um, gets the motor prepared. So all these initial things are basically initializing the program. And then it goes through the process of all of these commands some commands like cube detect off and calibrate tilt they're actually sub programs that you can find way up here in the other code so if I stop on one of these like this thing that says ro void rotate it's basically a subtask that rotates the cube and so it finds out which face it's on and it rotates edges according to what it analyzed and what it needs to rotate. So it's definitely a complex program um, that was hard in two senses. It was hard to come up with the logical solution and then to actually code it was another challenge. So kudos to the author of this code.